Hey everyone and welcome back to JDRF's YouTube channel. If you've watched our videos before, you've probably heard me talking about how I am currently on insulin injections, which is why I'm really excited to be talking about the topic of transitioning to T1D Tech today. That's because I recently made the decision to get on an insulin pump. So I thought it would be cool to talk about some of the things that I'm looking forward to, as well as being open and honest about some of the hesitations um, and concerns that I had uh, before making the switch. Um, because I think anyone who gets on any type of T1D tech, whether it's a continuous glucose monitor, an insulin pump, um, probably has these concerns as well. You know, I'm really excited to get on a pump, but I'm also really nervous. <laughs> so I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes 13 years ago, and then shortly after, within a couple of months of being diagnosed, I went on an insulin pump. Um, I was on the pump for 10 years until 2016, when I decided to go on a pump break. So for most people, a pump break might be, you know, for a vacation or for a short amount of time. But I say pump break like that because for me it lasted uh, two and a half years and I'm currently still on injections and not on the pump. So I've been off the pump for two and a half years but in those years I also got a CGM, a continuous glucose monitor, which has helped me tremendously and it's become a piece of T1D tech that I rely on very heavily. Even though I've been able to manage pretty well on injections, um, in the last couple of years since I've been off of the insulin pump, I've seen the pumps get better and better and I've seen you know, CGMs get even better and so much so that now the two are integrated, um, which is something that, you know, just a couple of years ago we didn't have. So T1D Tech is definitely advancing really quickly. First and foremost, I am definitely looking forward to the integration of an insulin pump and CGM. I think that is going to be a huge game changer for me, you know, because I love the CGM so much. I am excited to have an insulin pump that, you know, can reduce my insulin when I'm going low. Um, I think that is so great and I've never had both of them together so obviously I'm really excited for that. Some of the other things I'm looking forward to in an insulin pump are you know, more basic insulin pump features like the ability to give myself smaller doses, uh, more exact doses, which is something I haven't been able to do on insulin pens or injections. And I'm also looking forward to the ability to just have temp basils and set different basils throughout the day. All right, so let's talk about concerns or hesitations to getting back on the pump. I would say, my biggest hesitation was probably just being attached to something again. I think for a lot of people, the thought of being attached to some sort of tech or some sort of device um, can be really scary. And even though I was on an insulin pump for 10 years, um, the thought of being attached to you know, an insulin pump again is really scary for me. And it does make me really nervous. Um, to be honest, I never had any problems when I was on an insulin pump for 10 years. Uh, this was never a concern for me back then, but it's been years since then, and I don't know. I think I've just gotten used to not having something on me, and so I'm, I'm kind of worried about how that's gonna go, but I've done it before, I know it's fine, but yes, I think that is a very normal concern. My second concern would probably be, you know, just the fact that with a CGM and an insulin pump, you're relying really heavily on technology. So, you know, if your site goes bad or your pump malfunctions or whatever it may be, I just think there's a lot more technology concerns that are added to your day to day. Overall, I think the pros outweigh the cons. So next time you see me on here, it's very likely that I will be on an insulin pump in addition to my CGM. So I will be all full of T1D tech, but I also realize that this tech is not for everyone and it's a personal choice and different things work for different people, but um, I'm definitely excited for the ways that it'll improve my management of type one. Um, but I'm really curious to hear from you guys, you know, for those of you who have switched over to T1D Tech, whether it was a CGM or an insulin pump, what were the concerns or hesitations that you had, um, if any, and did you share any of the ones that I have, um, and how long did it take you to kind of adjust or adapt to this new management? So let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.